hello friends uh, yesterday um, in the last lecture we have seen uh, how the circle is created in three dimension it is actually uh, you take a sphere and you cut it by a uh, so take a intersection with a plane right and what you obtain is a circle in three dimension now suppose if i take that circle okay so a circle is always obtained by uh, a sphere equation s equal to zero and a plane equation u equal to zero. So both these will give us the equation of the circle, right? Suppose I take a circle and then I find out which sphere is passing through this circle. So see that, for example, uh, let me draw here a circle. Now this is a circle in three dimension. Okay. See how this circle is obtained. This circle is obtained by taking some sphere s equal to zero and taking that uh, a cut uh, intersection by a plane u equal to zero. Okay, and we have got this circle. Now see that there are family of spheres which can pass through this uh, circle. Okay. Now some of the spheres may have uh, this circle as a great circle like this so what is a great circle great circle is like a circle that passes through the center of the sphere okay so that is a great circle some of the spheres may have this as a top at the top of this okay so you can have different kind of spheres that can be passed through this circle okay now this is a family of spheres Okay, and the equation of this family is uh, given by so I say then uh, the the family of spheres family of spheres uh, pass through passing through. Uh, passing through uh, the circle uh, s equal to 0 comma u equal to 0 is now how this family is obtained it is obtained with the equation x plus lambda u equal to 0 okay where lambda is some constant lambda is a constant okay now there is another way to obtain a circle uh, in three dimension uh, so one way we have seen that is take a sphere and take its intersection with a plane there is another way uh, you take two spheres and take their intersection okay so when two spheres are intersecting each other so this is one sphere this is another sphere okay you will obtain a circle over there at this intersection okay so whenever two spheres are intersecting each other again you will get a circle right now this type of circle is uh, denoted by uh, by the equation s1 equal to 0 comma s2 equal to 0 okay so the circle that is obtained by intersection of two spheres okay its equation is given by s1 equal to 0 s2 equal to 0 right now uh, can you find out uh, the family of spheres that is passing through this circle okay family of spheres that is passing through this circle and it is given by s1 plus lambda s2 equal to 0 okay so see that what we have done here is uh, we actually obtained uh, a circle okay so so let me just summarize this everything So we have obtained a circle. Uh, this is by done by two in two ways. One is you take a sphere and take a plane, okay, to get a circle. Then the family of circles that is passing, a uh, family of spheres that is passing through this circle is given by family of spheres. 
passing through this circle is s1 s plus lambda u equal to 0 so this is one way another way to get a circle is what you take one sphere you take another sphere and take their intersection okay you will get a circle again then the family of spheres uh, passing through uh, this circle is uh, s1 plus lambda s2 equal to 0 okay and one more point we will note that if a circle is passing through the center of the sphere okay that is called as a great circle okay like an equator uh, on earth sphere okay so see that if you take earth as a sphere then the equator equator is a great circle that is passing through the center of the earth okay right so great circle is a kind of a circle that is passing through center of a sphere that is called as a great circle Okay, so just note this, we will see the illustration in the next video. Okay.